Hello everyone, my name is Harun and you are watching the channel Chess Beast. Today we will be going to analyze the game between Igor Smirno and Sharpo Evangeline. Okay, the game starts with e4, c6 the Karukan, d4, d5, e5, and white enters the advanced variation of the Karukan defense. c5 attacking the d4 pawn. D cross C5 and white decides to capture as it will, he will gain a pawn advantage. Knight C6 attacking the E5 pawn. Knight F3. E6. A3 preventing the knight C6 to go to B4. Bishop c5 you cap sorry bishop c5 captures the c5 pawn b4 attacking the c5 bishop and it the only squares it can move is b6 and e7 so black black decides to move the square b6 Bishop b2 it's, a, it's moved to the great big diagonal available on the board and knight g e7 okay move bishop d3 knight g6 he moved a piece twice in the opening without completing the main task that he has to complete during the openings and castle protection okay once again he moves the same knight knight f4 attacking the d2 d3 bishop and if white moves the g3 pawn he can also come to the h3 okay in, in that way and white plays c4 attacking the D5 and trying to open the center, but of course, the knight has moved three to two to three times in the game. And the best idea when a piece moves more than two to three times, he has to start an attack. In, in order to start an attack, he had to open the position. So, white plays c4 in order to open the position. Knight d3 capturing the d3 bishop. Queen captures d3 knight. D captures c4. Okay, uh, now white can enter into the exchange with black by capturing the d8 queen and it also can uh, capture the c4 power. But according to me, the best move would be capturing the c4 pawn and white did the same castles knight c3 it's a least active power active piece in the game and white has even developed it knight captures d4 knight goes to d4 knight captures d4 and queen captures d4 uh, asking him to enter the exchange because of the queen c4 captures d4 sorry my internet is not good after queen c4 captures d4 bishop captures d4 it will be pretty equal but white goes to queen e2 protecting his e5 pawn and it also a tactical Tactically, uh, after he moves his knight, the queen's attack. Queen goes to h4, rook a d1, controlling the only open pile available in the game. Queen d8, queen captures d8, enters the exchange, and because of this, one of the black's pieces must move back. Will it be the queen or the bishop? Okay. Oh, yes, it was the bishop. Bishop captures d8, rook d1. Once again, gaining control over the open file. 
H6 as it's a not a great move but he could have played b6 instead of h6 and after queen d3 it would be a little better than the last h6 move knight e4 uh, b6 okay b6 was an unnecessary move according to me and it also was a blunder but instead of b6 queen b6 uh, queen queen b6 would be better attacking the f2 pawn but white plays uh, after b6 white plays g3 making the queen to move back the only place the queen can go is the f7 f7 square yes f7 uh, no sorry e7 square and queen moves to e7 knight f6 check it's an awesome move winning the whole game and attacks the extracts the king and the capturing it with the g pawn after e pawns it's pretty good position but the game goes with king to h8 and queen e4 attacking the rook and after this move black resigns okay if you like this video hit the thumbs up and for more content hit or click uh, anything just subscribe to my channel for more contents okay see you at the next video